Hello, YouTube land. Hello, everyone. I'm on live today. I promised you yesterday that I'd be on live. I came on a little bit before. Today, we'll be making fabric clusters with all of that clutter that's over there, <laughs> with all that stuff that's over there. Let's see who pops on on now. All right. While we do that, people come in. We get situated. Let's do all that stuff. Get my feet situated. You know you're starting to get old when you have to wear your glasses to craft, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry about that. Whoa. See, I have three people on. Hello. What are y'all up to? Say hi. Are y'all crafting with me? We'll be making some fabric clusters today. Okay. <clears throat> I just had to go get my glasses. That's all. So tonight, I decided to come on here, turn on the camera. We will be making some fabric clusters. I'm trying to get situated. All right. What I kind of did was pull things out from my fabric. My laces and trims and stuff like that. <clears throat> For some reason, ouch. This is stuck. Oh, I can pull it through. Hi, Edna. Thanks for jumping in. I'll be making fabric clusters if you want to join in at home. Just watch. What time is it where you're at? I know you're at, I think. And yeah, you are in a different time zone than me. I've been moving my craft area today because I bought a new lamp. Let's see how that turns out today. Hence, that's why I have to wear my glasses because <laughs> the glare is terrible and it was messing with my eyes and it was making my head and eyes hurt. 
So I need to make some fabric clusters for a swab. So that's what I will be making. What I'm doing or what I did was I grabbed some of this lace because it's ruffled. It's beautiful, but because it's ruffled, you know what? I may fall my back. That's better. Um, because it's ruffled and it's so long, um, I have limited use or it's something that gets used less um, because of the type of crafting I do. So what I'm doing is taking it off of the seam. You know what's making it roughly? So that I can have flat lace. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Yes, you did. You get a star on the attendance folder. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. You're crafting with us tonight. I'm going to be making fabric clusters. The first thing I'm doing is taking off the ruffle because this is very pretty, like peach colored lace that somebody sent me. It's beautiful, but since it's so long, um, I rarely use it because of the, that fact. So what I'm doing is taking off the seam from the top so that I'm turning it into flat lace because I'll be explaining why I need some flat lace instead of the ruffle for the fabric clusters that I'm gonna be making. What I do use this lace for is to make flowers. I have some white and I have the peach. Okay. I already cut a piece of this. Do I cut a piece of that? There's peach. There's some white. Brown. I was kind of prepping beforehand. Can't wait to see the cut. The cut clothes part. Can't wait to see the cut clothes part of the <laughs> No, some, well, I don't know. Somebody sent it to me. I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, this one's already cut. Okay. And I was just pulling things out. This will be my own version. Right. Okay. And these are my accent pieces. Okay, so let me show you here an example of what I will be doing. And I'm still dealing with my new mat. I got I finally got the Tim Hall's glass mat, which I'm loving because it's so easy to clean up. But sometimes it's hard to see on the black background. Okay, so the swap consists that I make four, four clusters, which I'm gonna end up making more for my stash. But the clusters have to be four by three inches. So they have to be this big, right? So I cut just an index card to the size. So that's why I was taking the ruffle out of this lace so it can be flat and I can make, you know, that size for the base, if I wanted to use that as a base. So this is what we, or what I will be doing. I'm gonna be making the clusters. Um, it's not the size, well, is this what you had in this, right? I cut it, yes. So this is how big the clusters have to be. So basically, you just take whatever scraps you have and you put them on there. Any scraps of fabric, lace, um, paper, die cuts, whatever it is, right? But we have to include fabric. So um, just as a tutorial that they gave us or they wanted us to use, it was by Gail Agustinelli. 
and she cut her piece, the biggest piece, to this size, a four by three. And then she just picked five things from her things of scraps or whatever she had. And so I was just kind of playing with it. So that's one. And then I put that on top, which you really can't see. That's why I didn't like it earlier. But let's just see. Let's play around. And she said to grab five things. So one, two, three. And then there's like a doily and this is another one, right? So that will be five. So if we put that, then that is a cluster. And what she was doing was I threw it back here. Instead of gluing it, which you can glue, you can take your little, oh man, the Tim Holtz, this is a Tim Holtz tiny attacher. It's basically a little stapler. And you can staple things together or you can glue them, sew them, whatever you want. She was using the stapler because it would be easier. So in essence, when you have this done, then you have an embellishment. So what is it, that embellishment good for? You put it like on a tag. Since I'm the tag queen, it no, you should know, or you should, you would want to know that uh, my friend Susie here on YouTube <laughs> put me a surname of the tag queen because every time I'm on live <laughs> with her or on live, I usually um, making tags. <laughs> and I tell her yes, but it's because I use tags all the time, and it's something I can always use in swaps and journals. So now you have this embellishment, right? If I were to attach everything, and this becomes your embellishment, something to make whatever else pretty. Like if you have a regular envelope, you would put that there, and now you have a pretty decorated envelope. I put this in the back, see? That's the purpose of a fabric cluster. And basically, she took the four by three and then just layered five things. So that's what I'll be doing today. And that's great because every time I sit down and create something, minus this little pouch, all that is scraps, the stuff that I have left over. So they just multiply. They get together and they have babies, <laughs> right? And I, it never ends. Every time I sit down, I have little pieces left over and I throw them in here and so I want um, to hopefully use up some of the scraps and what I have done beforehand let me move this lap because I feel ha ha that's better I feel oops sorry about that Did something out, something on there change? Oh, my phone started going berserk. Okay, and let me check. I'm on here on my tablet. I'm still learning. Okay, let me see. Is that changing at all? No. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you, Edna. So, yeah, that's what I'll be making just different embellishments, and that one I just put together. But if I don't want to put this, oh, she said that the last piece. It's a focal point. So I used this. I got it from a swap from before. But I have this butterfly. I can use it as a focal point. And that's what's going to draw your eye. So you can use whatever you have there. I picked up. Oh, my goodness. I brought a die cut of a butterfly. Hmm. Yeah, I did. It's over here. So whatever you use on there. You can use and the focal point is what's going to make it look different every time well that's a little one but you know you get the gist of it so that's what i'll be making today 
And what I did, what I put in the bowl, were my partner's colors. She likes blue and purple. So I went um, looking in my stash, in my supplies, and I pulled out the blue and the purple that I had. And those are the blue and the purple. And then I kind of was picking colors that I think would work. <clears throat> what kept cutting stuff out of your your clothes at now? I mean, it's a great way to get trends and stuff like that. So I kind of just pulled colors that I knew that were my partner's favorites was blue and um, purple. So I pulled out the blues and purples I had and then some white peach I think would work, a little brown. And then, of course, I have my scraps. But she did say she liked all the colors. So, without further ado, I am going to start making um, some clusters. <clears throat> How are you all doing tonight? Hey, Tree, how are you? Thanks for coming in. We'll be making some fabric clusters, or I'll be making them. Hopefully, you all can learn how to make them. It is for a swap that I'm in. Not to create for, but I'm going to be making extras. And I was sharing with the ladies that is really easy. They gave us a tutorial to, to follow. And that tutorial was... Gail Augusta notes. Oh, you have a headache, Cheryl. I mean, Cheryl, no, Sherry. That's not fun. Headaches are not fun. If I ever tell you I have a headache, oh my goodness, that's like the worst thing that can happen to me. I hate headaches. What you up to, Tree? And so basically you take your scraps and you layer them up. You know what? I look like a string of pearls there. But I don't have a string of pearls. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah. So basically I'm just putting stuff. So that's one, two, three. And she said to aim for trying to put five things on there. And so basically, you just put stuff on top of each other and see if it works. But I'm trying to see if, if if I want it to be this way or this way, but I think I like it this way. With the blue, that can go out. Give it these little stylings in the middle. Hey Dee, how are you? What you up to? I'll be making some fabric clusters today. I need to make them for this for a swap I'm in. And it's a great way to get rid of my scraps that are in those things in that little rubber made container. Every time I sit and craft, I have scraps. And it could you can incorporate your paper scraps as well. I just don't have paper scraps right now. Can you believe that? I've actually been really good about using all paper that I cut up. Oh, you're tired? Oh, yeah. I bet you it was a long day today, huh? Like yesterday or worse, perhaps? 
because you had an early start again today. Okay, see, wow, I wish I would have shown you in the beginning what I did. Let me see. Yeah, I'll show you. The little Simon, the things in the middle were flat and I picked them up and it makes a world of difference. It gives it a lot of movement. So now, that's one, two, three, and we're aiming for five. So I need something. How about this? No, it comes up the other way. How about this? Pretty flower. Oh my goodness. You finished that six. That's crazy. We're having to work for quite a while. Since 2013. So I'm like, man. Oops. I think I made them. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like the way that looks. That pretty. Yep. I do like it. So, she was using, like I was telling you guys, she was using a stapler to put them together. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric. That's when the preschool goes. Oh, wow. At six. Oh, that's right. You said you had to. Yeah, you had to stay there at different times and leave and take a break or whatever. That's crazy. So I'm just going to be using my fabric tack to tack it down. It dries really fast. You could use hot glue, whatever you want. I just happen to have fabric tech here. Tomorrow home, same time. I'm gonna have to go to a game by eight. And then crap me, if I only drink. <laughs> oh, that's right. You said you do the cocktail. What was it? I'm sorry. I Covered up the light there. That's because this needs to be on the other side. Um, you did you do cocktails with cards or cards with cocktails or I don't know what you were telling me the other day. Well, this is my crafting. I do it live. <laughs> well, some of my crafting. I do crafting during the day as well. Off and on during the day. This flat back pearls have glue. I just don't trust it, you know, since it's fabric. So I am going to I put a bead of glue fabric tack underneath it and take that off because I have a glue just so I can reinforce it since it's fabric. And the goal is to aim for five things on the cluster. Okay, my tablet is not cooperating. Yes, they smog it, yeah. And you were telling me that you all get together and do cards. Really? My tablet does not want to cooperate today. It's not showing me the feed. Okay, let's walk up over there. Let's just flip it around and get rid of the feed of people. Okay, let's 
me, I'm putting something. Oh, it's not giving me the thing to me. Oh, I see it. Oh my goodness. What an adventure today. So, let me see. Because if not, I have a tablet here so I can just like move my eyes that way. If not, I have to sit, kind of move back and look at the feet on top of my phone where I'm recording. And today, my tablet does not want to show me the feed. Well, at least this, this one. Okay. Really? Not. Oh man. And because I was doing that, my glue dried. So let me put this on here before it dries. So what are you all currently working on? When in, when in doubt, use cheesecloth or eyelash trim. <laughs> You're up to nothing, B. Well, you know, being up to nothing sometimes is good. What are you up to, Sherry? Head down. What are you all up to tonight? Are you all just relaxing and watching, hearing? That's what Dee's doing. She's chillaxing today. Which is good. We all have to do that sometimes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I forgot. Three. Actually, you can see it Oh, yeah. You know what? I like this embellishment. <laughs> okay, ladies, I need your help. One leaf or two. Oh, okay, Sherry. 
I hope you feel better. Go lie down. I hope you feel better. Two, yeah. The way they are, D. The location is good. The location of the leaves are good, or do I move? Try to move it around. I mean. You like it? Edna? I do too. I'm surprised and it's so, uh, I'm just surprised that it's so easy to make. I think it's because um, usually when I make embellishments, I'm always, uh, I guess I overthink it. Okay, so now I need to tack down. I need to glue down this, right? And I'm excited because I'm actually using things that I tend not to use. Well, you know, like my scraps, like certain colors or certain things. Okay, let's go. Turn this on. And that embellishment. Turn it so stick. That embellishment is done. So pretty. Like. If it's on a journaling card, it will look really pretty once you distress the edge. Look at that. It'd be pretty. Or on top of a page, like a top top, or even a side. Oh, very pretty. So one of them. Hey, Melinda. How are you? Yes, Edna, it's awesome because, well, like I said, my little box is always multiplying over there. <laughs> Remember Dex card? Oh, yeah. I'm good, Melinda. Thanks for asking. Yes, I need to get a die or I need... I don't have any memory decks cards. That's why I haven't joined the swaps. Because <laughs> I no longer have my Cricut. Before I used to cut them out with the Cricut. So I had, you know, I, I was always participating in the memory deck swaps. But I can't because I don't have a way to cut them out. And I've tried doing like the templates. But I don't like the way it comes out when you cut them out by hand. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next one. My partner likes blue. Did they cut these two sides? Oops. Okay. What you got? <laughs> you can fix that. Hmm, do I want them like this? No, I want this. That's a trick. So Melinda, what I'm doing is making clusters because I have a fabric cluster. So I have a swap that I need to do. Yes, it was well, like I said, I joined I joined a swap. Maybe I'll make it this way now. Um and what I did, they have to be four by three, so this is the size they have to be, or at least the bottom, the base. <clears throat> So, my partner's favorite colors were blue and purple. So I'll work with this baby blue. I'm looking around to see what I can put on top of that. I'm trying to think if I have any fabric that will match. I'm good with that. Ooh, look at this fabric. Oh, I have a 
away with you. No, ashes. Oh yes, I definitely need memory decks cards cut out. That is beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful lace and it's a very good size like to make belly bands or stuff like that. But um, I find myself, I only had a little piece left. So I said, okay, perfect because it was, sorry, I was yawning. Oh my goodness. It was my partner's favorite color or that she listed. So I said, perfect. Okay, so now I need to find something there. The problem is, well, not the problem. I have lace, right? But lace and lace, I mean, it looks good, but I need something to break up the laciness. How about this gold? Okay, let me clean this up here. So I want something to break up. Ooh, I have a bigger goodie here, but it's too big for this piece. Hey, is that, is that the size? Sort of, kind of. Hmm. I think this one would look better. Okay, D, thank you. Let's see, I have this kind of goldish ribbon. I can put it across the top. Let's see. If we do that, that's two layers. Beautiful. I already used a flower. So yeah, any new swaps y'all are in? Projects. Linda, I saw your video today on, huh. I got this lace in a swap and I love it. Okay, Dee. Enjoy. They send me some stamped images on fabric. And this is scripture. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Jeremiah 1 5. And I love it. Yeah, the. Lala Sisters or something rather um, journal. Yeah, I was looking at that. Beautiful. I love what you did on the cover with the jean and the fabric. Oh, how about this one? Yeah, the inside was was awesome too. But the the yeah the yeah yeah the yeah yeah journal. The way you, like, I guess, basically tore or, I don't know, the texture on the cover was off. One, two, three, four, I put, and then I need, like, a little, a little, little something, something. <laughs> yeah, they were so nice. The cover was very, very, like I wanted to run my fingers on that cover. Yeah, it was like slashed or cut. Oh, you're making three more? How neat. With the same kind of cover? 
yeah, I was paying attention that it was two layers of um, two layers of denim and then several layers of fabric. Did you slash it with a razor? Did you cut it with a razor? Utility knife? You know, my inquiring mind wants to know. <laughs> So did you sew the edges first and then and then slash it? Or did you like glue the, the sides or you sew the sides? No scissors? Like literally you opened up the scissors and you slashed it or you like cut them with the scissors? Yes, it's very nice, uh, Edna. I mean, I loved it. They use like permanent ink and they did it on a piece of fabric. I loved it. I have to find some stamps that have scripture on them. Yes, I thought it was a different way of using your stamps to stamp off fabric. And um, I don't know who it was, somebody on YouTube. I was uh, watching, they took an old bedspread or a bed sheet and uh, they stamped on it, like archival ink, yep. And they were stamping on it, just different. She didn't have like scripture stamps, but whatever stamp she had, she was stamping on the old bed sheet and then she was cutting it out. And then she like took the little fibers apart. And so if you notice, it's like um, frayed a little bit and it looks really, really, really neat. And I'm like, hmm, like I think like an old pillowcase would work because of the fabric, it's soft, you know, nice and thin. And then of course you can use it for embellishing and stuff like that. Different way, Ooh, thank God I saw that different way to use our stamps and since she used the permanent ink uh, it won't run with the glue <laughs> yes you're gonna have to make a video on how you did the journal i was paying attention <laughs> i was paying attention oh i think i like this application yeah so that would be one two three four and five Of course, you can put more items on there, if you wish. It'll make it more complex. I was telling Edna, Melinda, Edna's one of my friends, she came over. Um, she came over and said, what in the world is going on? Yeah, try it. It's, it's really neat, the way I've seen it. And so now I was telling Edna that um, Susie put the surname Tag Queen. <laughs> she called me a Tag Queen. And so now you can put it on a page, in a journal, and it looks very pretty. And it's just stuff that I have scrapped. And this is from my partner. That's the second one. So why is my thing bubbling over? And all the time that I've had it in that bottle never go. <laughs> I'm laughing at the, that word. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's what the lady used. And I said, you know what? It's good because, you know, the bed sheets, you know, they're older, they're soft. And uh, she just took like, you know, she cut them in little sections, whatever you can fit on your table, however you want to work with it. And then she was just stamping all her stamps. And some of them she cut around, you know, like round, square, all that. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's a way of, of doing things. Okay, so now I have two done. And two of my partner's colors. She likes blue, so I did these two. It's pretty. I like them. So now I'm going to do the other two for my partner and I'm going to make sure that I use purple because she liked blue and purple. 
I kind of already had grabbed purple out. And I want to use that make this one over here. Ooh, awesome. You're going to have to make a video. You know, we encourage each other here. I encourage the ladies to make videos and put them on YouTube. You know why? Because we all, all know something that the other one doesn't. All of us, and we think that we don't. What can I do? What can I show? Oh, you can show a lot of things. So just turn on the phone and record it. So I just cut it to the size that I need it. I'm going to put it down, use it as my face. And she liked purple, so I have this purple. Ooh, if I can get this way, maybe. Or, oh no, I think this one. Oh no, this one will be purple, purple. So that's two. Ooh, I don't know if you can tell, but the rose, this little um, embellishment came in one of my swaps. But the bottom of the rose is kind of like a dark purple and then it fades to red. So it really pops with this. I like that. So one, two, three, four. Ha ha, one more. I think I'm going to use something to add dimension to it. Echo. When in doubt, ladies, what do, what do we do? We use cheesecloth. <laughs> we use cheesecloth or we use eyelash trim. Let's see, let's see. Okay. I'm seeing if I have a, ooh, a piece of eyelash trim or oh, it's the same color. Pearls. Ooh, pearls, pearls. Well, the problem is I only have this size of pearl. Oh, I can put it there. Let's see. Let me see. Can you see the pearls if I put them there? What I'm trying to avoid is going and getting. I was work ready. I was working on the breast cancer journals yesterday, and I know I have a piece of cheesecloth. I'm trying to avoid going to my cheesecloth and cutting another piece, you know, because I'm trying to use my, my script. Oh, now I know what the BRB is. And then, do you know what BRB is? I learned that yesterday. <laughs> if you didn't know, it's, it's be right back. I didn't know. <laughs> so I learned something crap. An abbreviation I didn't know. Cheese crop, but I'm afraid it's too, this one's beige and the, this is beige. So I'm trying to see. If I have enough color to pop it on the background. Nah, you know, Edna, I didn't know. I was like, what BRB? Somebody said, she'll be right back. Oh, okay. See, you could have done a video on that, Edna, and you would have taught me. <laughs> oh, I have, no, it's white. I have brown, brown seam binding. I have purple, white. Mm -hmm. What can I put there? Oh, you know what? I saw thicker of the purple. Maybe that will help. Let's see. Instead of that thinner piece that's there. I know that's my scrap. Now, do you accept my challenge? What challenge? 
hey, you see, your granddaughter taught you something. Mel Melinda taught me to be right back. We're actually Sherry, Sherry, the one that went today down today, um, told me what that meant. See, we all can teach each other. I said, I said, what? What did you say? Let me see. She's ignoring me. Oh, wow, I have something. No film of what? Oh, I see. I challenge you if if I make the video, then you have to make one. Make what? The journal cover? Oh, I also make it. It's so... I really liked it. I really did like it. One, because I'm a denim girl, right? I, I like the feel of denim. And you know what? It's going to last forever. Oh, yeah. This is going to work just dandy. Why? Because it's thicker, so it's better. Now, where is this one? This one's going to go across. One, two, three, four. I need one more thing. And I still need, like, E if I, oh. I have this thin little ruffle lace. Hey, dear. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look what I'm going to do, Daisy. I am going to take this ruffle lace and I'm going to tack it down here with glue. And so it's frilly. See how it's frilly? Oh, yeah, that's going to work just great. That's going to be like a little frilly lace around it. That was quick. Yeah, I'll make a cover. That jean cover. How brown, how many layers is it? Well, it, it doesn't matter because it can be any type of fabric. Because it's going to be in the inside. Basically, it's the padding, right? So that you won't cut the bottom. Trying to see. Which side? Which side is the right side? Well, I want to use, like I said, my scraps, and I need something frilly. And I love ruffle lace. I really do because. It gives it a very nice little edging. I like that it's not straight and it's not like eyelash trim, like it has movement, see? And so you went from, you went from the edge being straight like that, which is fine, but now check it out. Now look at the lace. What difference it made with the lace, without. I did like eight layers in between the jean layers. Ooh, okay. I need to be careful, Edna. So far, these ladies, well, one the lady, one of the ladies challenged me to do a journal. I challenge you to sub um, or I encourage you. I'm not gonna challenge you, Edna, but I encourage you to sub to Melinda's channel or go check out her channel. She did a journal um, like in honor of her daughter that had that has passed away but she made a beautiful well she made two. One for each daughter that has passed away. The one I'm telling you about first of all is the um, teddy bear journal and it's uh, well Etna is a card maker. So, you know, those gatefold cards that open like a gate. Okay, she made a journal that opens that way. Like it's a gatefold journal this way. And then she put two signatures on each side. And the journal is just, oh, you've got to go see it. It really touched my heart. And then she made a an elephant journal for her other daughter. 
and she has elements in there also. And today I was seeing a set of three, right? Yeah, it was a set of three journals that she made, but with a jean color and it's amazing. So look, look at the difference. It's the lace. Oh, that's gonna look beautiful. And so one of the ladies challenged me. I was telling them about it on Saturday. I was on a live with uh, Susie from Susie's Craft Room. And one of the ladies challenged me to make a journal like that. So I said, I would love to because it was it's an awesome journal. It it's beautiful and you need to check it out. And so one of the ladies um challenged me to make a journal like that the gayful well I call it the gayful journal I don't know what she's gonna call it but I said if I knew how to do it I would so then I challenged Melinda I said okay Melinda you know make a tutorial and then she told us that somebody had asked her for the tutorial so basically Melinda's gonna make that that video and so today I told her that she should make a video or I was making um question in her about that journal the jean cover because it's so awesome one two yeah that's perfect that's right um so she said if she she was going to challenge me if she made that video i would have to make a cover <laughs> so i will be making the jean cover but it's an awesome that one's like amazing i like it i want a journal cover for me Oh, yes, I will. I'll send it to you through message probably tomorrow because it's getting late. Well, it's not late for me. I'll be up, but I know that you go to bed early sometimes. It is my name. What do you mean? I tried. You tried. Well, they are different and they're nice. They're very nice. See? I can make the inside of the journal. I can make tags. I can make embellishments. Where I struggle, I'll be honest with you, is making the covers. But I think this is why. It's not that I can't make them. I can make them freely and I, I can make them. The thing I struggle with and is just for me. This is my deal. When I think of a, a journal, right, I think of where I put my thumb and my fingers in the back. So... Because for me, when I make a journal for myself or I have a spiral or whatever, it's going to go in my tote bag. So I put it in, you know, I put it in my purse. I put it in my tote bag. So I don't want stuff hanging out that is going to hang on to my jewelry. If I'm, if I'm wearing a bracelet, you know, and it gets caught on something or if I'm wearing a ring and it gets caught on something or if I stuff it in my purse and it gets all torn up. So that's where I struggle with my covers i think i overthink it <laughs> so yeah i i struggle with the covers but i think it's because i overthink it and the embellishments i don't i just kind of go with it and i like you know i'll create and whatever but the when it comes to the journal cover it's like oh because of that But that jean journal cover, I want to make for myself, like for me, because I like the texture of the jean. So I think I'm going to be um, like to run my hands on that journal or the journal cover. And then oh, this is so beautiful, guys. I like I would like this in the front of a journal cover. You know why? Because it's lace and it, the only thing that sticks up is this little flower, but everything else is nice and soft. So that's her third one. Ooh oh no, I have to leave it out there. One more. Well, for the swap. Thank you. Yeah, Melinda Davis is her YouTube. Who 
else is on here with us? I see poor. One of them is my tablet, Melinda, Edna. The other one is probably my mom. Mom, are you the one on here? She likes to come on my lives, but she won't say hi. Say hi, Elizabeth. Probably my mom. She likes to watch my lives. Okay, one more. And she, I want to do another purple. So I got rid of that other purple. How about if I use this as a Ooh, yeah, this is pretty. So where's my sizer? The reason I size the cardstock is because, you know, when you're cutting um, the um, lace, it's very flimsy, right? And it's like you have to mark it or you have to run the scissors and then the lace moves. When you cut a cardstock, what you kind of do is pick up the cardstock and let the fabric or the lace or even the fabric fall. Then you just take your scissors and run it across the cardboard and it doesn't move because it's like hanging off. Now that trick my grandmother showed me. Since my grandmother was a seamstress and um, she used to do a lot of wedding dresses and bridesmaids dresses and you know like satin and taffeta they're real silky and so when you, if you don't have a steady hand or it moves so that's what she would do if she was doing like dress patterns or whatever she would uh, do them with harder cardstock like if it was you know a very popular one Yes, it is that one. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to watch that journal. It I will warn you, you need some Kleenex because I mean at least I wasn't I was in tears, but they were happy tears. Because I could tell when she was describing her journal that she put her heart into it. And she was really honoring her daughter. Think my medication is going to work if I just leave it on my desk. That's what it's all about, baby, supporting one another. Awesome, I love to hear that. Yes, and I, well, we all are on a race to 1,000 subscribers, meaning that we're supporting one another to get to 1,000 subscribers, and you are just automatically in it because, you know, you're my friend. And how are we going to go up in subscribers? By doing that. I sub to you, you sub to me, and we're going to watch our videos, and we're going to support each other. And we're going to learn things along the way. And so I'm encouraging Melinda to make videos. And I'm also encouraging you make videos. Like, see, the be right back. I didn't know that. You could have totally made a video. And I would have been like, hey, thanks. I didn't know that's what it meant. <laughs> Plus, Edna does beautiful cards. A D that's on here. Uh, she likes to do cards as well, Edna. It is a big card maker. And other, you know, other crafts as well. But she likes to do cra uh, cards. And I do some cards, but not as complicated or detailed as it. Yeah, I understand. I don't 
don't know. Karen is one of our our YouTube buddies that um, has come on with us. Or always with us. With us, and she's from Singapore. Right now. I'm sure she'll pop on later. Well, you know what, um, Edna, I'm getting to do uh, lots of videos on my ca on my um, channel. It's because I do the work anyway. You know, like my swap, what I'm doing, I'm I do the work anyway. So right now, of course, now I'm live right today, and I'm making it here. But um, if you don't want to do the video while you're making it, do the video of you showing it. Hey guys, this is a swap I did. Um, it was for fabric clusters and you show what you did and you know you describe it and that's it that's the length of your video so you're already doing the work it's just turning on the camera yes i can tell you love to make cards because like you it's very detailed no? they're very detailed i have like sequins or pearls or, or little dots or the wink of stella or you know, just a little bit of lace here or a little bit of glitter here. I can tell you're a card maker. You love to make cards. I knew it shows in your work. Okay, I need a background. That is me. Yeah, you can tell just like, you know, I was telling you about um, Melinda, like I was telling you, didn't I just make one I did? With the purple, right? It was the beach, yes. So that's out of the question. How about I use that brown? You know, like I can tell that you all pour your heart into it. Like you could see it. And, I mean, I've never heard you um, describe your card like you know, on a video, but I'm sure that you would be saying, and you know, this and that, because I mean, I could see it in your work just when, you know, like when you send me cards or when you send other people cards, like I could see the attention to detail. So I can only imagine if once you start making videos. Yes, thank you, Edna. Yes, you've always supported me and other ladies. So yeah, I I um, encourage you to turn on the camera while you're working because you're already doing the work. Whether uh, you do it while you're doing it. Where did you go? Oh, or after you. I don't like the blue and this together. It dulls it. I like white. Do I have anything white? Melinda, she's asking if she can share your stuff in her group or in her page, I should say. It's probably doing something. Oh, there you go. See, Melinda, I tell you, I'm telling you, you're going to be famous. They're going to seek you out. And D, um, Edna, she's here somewhere. D, that's on here. Let's see what her last name is. I forget. But I can find it. Right. D, Deanne, um, that's her name on YouTube, and her picture is a cat. Uh, she, goes on, she comes on live on YouTube. 
and she draws Edna. Like she will start off with a blank page and she's like, okay, today I'm going to draw. Or she'll say, I need you all to tell me what to draw. A dog, right? And she does beautiful. No, I think she came back. That's why I said, boy, that was fast. I don't know. But you need to check her out. It's D D N. And she'll draw beautifully. Yeah, that pink one looks good there, right? Oh, uh, she might have left. Just spent time with her hubby. Yeah, she was. She had got home late. That pink flower looks good, right? <laughs> yes. Oh yes, and uh, these ladies are very, very talented. And then we have Susie's from Susie Craft Room. And, I mean, we have so many. Susie's is not on here. Yes, that looks good. Perfect. Thanks. I'm going to do that. And that will work. So, yeah, Melinda, you have a lot of videos to do. And I have a lot of challenges to do. <laughs> oh my <goodness. laughs> Aww. Too cute. I figured you were watching a movie again. Yeah, so we both better get to work. We have a lot of work. Well, besides all my other commitments. Plus, I'm doing a collab. Um, guys, I'm doing a collab. I am doing a collab with one of my friends. His name is Ryan. Ryan from B and D Crafts and More on YouTube. He contacted me here on what was it last two days ago, I think. On, our, on my life, he wants to do a collab. And what it is, is if you're interested in joining, doing five projects, your choice, Christmas themed, and then we would give you a certain date and a certain time to load up your video to YouTube. So like Edna likes to make cards. Um, you know, she can make a card if Melinda wants to make a very small journal because a big one is a lot of work. Um, <laughs> you know, she could do that. And uh, like Dee, the one that went to spend time with her husband, um, she wants she wanted to do it, and then she mentioned um, because of the dates. So we're gonna start the day after Thanksgiving and go every Friday after that until Christmas Day. Christmas Day will be the last one. She's like, I could do it if I could do the projects before, and I said, you can. You record your videos, and I can show you how to schedule them. So basically, I can record today and schedule it for Christmas Day if I wanted to. So the other day I chatted with Dee about that. And I was showing her how to do it. So if you guys, girls, I always say guys, but you know what I mean, uh, are interested, there is an op there's opening. And it'll get you out there on YouTube. Because if you've ever watched a collab on YouTube, uh, we put everybody's links on the bottom of all of our videos. So if you all were in, when I when I upload the video to my channel of the collab and my project on the bottom, everybody that is participating in the collab videos would be there. <laughs> Yes, we also have a chef in here, Edna. A chef that's not a chef because he's actually a, I think it's called, a, well, I don't know if he considers him a puppet, 
himself a puppeteer, puppeteer, I think it's called, or a ventriloquist. You know, if he talks with his puppet. And so he was in here, when was it Saturday, Melinda, right? When I, we were on live with Susie. Again, I put some of that eyelash trim around it because it makes it sparkle, gives it dimension, and I need to pick this. Oh, I see that one. Someone has to. <laughs> yes, I say guys too, but I mean everybody. So if you ladies are interested, please let me know. It's a way for you to commit to doing projects. Plus, you'll have to do videos, right? But it'll give you exposure on YouTube. And people will watch you. And, and this collab is your choice as long as it's Christmas themed. And I can show you how to schedule your videos and walk you through video stuff, all that stuff. Thank you. Oh, where in the world? When I went to visit my um, my sister close by Dallas, I went to a Dollar Tree that finally had these flat back pearls. Because in my area, they, they were carrying them for a long time and then they stopped. And today I walk, went to Dollar Tree and I got two packages of the pink ones. Because they had them in my area today. The pink, the light pink. I think it's so cute. It's going to make, you know what this would make? Well, it would make a very good bag topper because it's a perfect size. Which I have to create anyway. <gasps> I didn't think about that. I, can, I have to create four bag toppers because I have to package these up individually. Or some sort of back doors. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, and it also goes faster because I have a, a certain amount of number of things I have to put in the embellishment. You know, so I'm like, oh, is that enough? Oh, okay. So let me put it so pretty. Me, Nike. So, yay. Check it out. It's so dainty and it's very pretty. So in a short amount of time, I made, I think, three diagonal and one vertical. What a good thing. Where's the other one? Oh, you it fell down it's on my printer. Right there. Look. Be beautiful. They're so pretty. Hey girls, would you help me do? So these are the four embellishments for my swap. And you know what? I should bag them up while I'm here. Why wait? That way you can see how I bag my things up. Please let me check. Give me a region of running. Four fabric clusters, four by three, one, two, three, four. Creator's choice theme. Consider your partner's favorites. Package individually in cellophane bags, which are these right here. Okay, individually. 
So, one. Yes, I have to make bag toppers as well. Two, three. Or not so much bag toppers, just decorate them, you know, the top. But I like to make bag toppers because then the person, um, if they know, can take them off and use them somewhere else, right? You read now? Okay, so again, I'm going to use what I have. Let's see if this is the size that goes in here. Nope. Okay. Let me grab my cards. Actually, do I have? Printed one from a um, kit that I'm working on for a journal, a devotional journal. But I like it because it matches the blue and the purple. No match. But I'm going to use this side to show off the embellishment I did and have this double sided paper on the top, on the back. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, it's a digital kit from, mm, which one's this one? Mm -hmm. My porch print. Actually, it's the kit that I made your um, journal from, Edna. I just, I think I layered this one for the cover. No, you didn't miss anything. All I'm doing is I'm going to package up the the fabric coasters that I made because they're for a swap and uh, the swap that I'm in has some, I'm just removing the white part of this digital paper that I printed out. They have specific regulations or rules or however you want requirements that we package those up individually. So, I don't know what this is for. So, this one's going to go this way. Okay, so everybody wants to join the party. Okay, there we go. And so I'm just going to package up. You know what? This is driving me insane that I have a mess everywhere. And I hate that I'm pushing things up. So, before I proceed, let me proceed to clean this up. I no longer need this. Well, I do, but I don't. Okay. It's a nice graph thing. Yeah, and if you see it, this, this paper is the paper I used on your journal. It's the kit that I used to make your journal.
Etna was the recipient of that devotional journal that I posted the other day that was for a friend. I made it for her birthday. And it's the, the paper that I used on your cover. Oops. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's going to work with a lot of my themes. You know, you probably think I, I usually work in the same color family for that same reason. Because then I know that whatever I have um, will work. And I don't have to go out and purchase anything new. And when I'm out shopping or thrifting or garage selling, it's easy to pick up items because I use the same colors over and over. Oh, usually, right? Unless it's like a special project or something like that. <clears throat> Oh, you're welcome. Sorry I couldn't get there on time. I just, you know, how life gets. But, you know, you got it. <laughs> okay. This can go on to the side. This can go on over here. That's good. I was afraid I was going to mess it up because I usually do. Like I'll say, oh, this is for my friend Edna, right? I'll say it and I'm like, oh, I've done that so many times. And the, you know, when the person is watching me and they're like, I already knew. And how did you know what well, you said in your video? <laughs> so, yeah, it happens. Okay. Perfect. I'm going in. Now this is more like my area. Really, it's ha oops, it's happened to me many times. <laughs> so usually what I'll do, even like for swaps, right? I'll make the video like today I'm making this. Um, but I'll make the video before I send off the swap. But I won't post it until my partner gets it because sometimes I'll say, oh, this is for my partner, you know, let's say Melinda and whatever on this group. And they saw it before they got it. So, yeah. So I try to post them after. Okay, here we go. So this one has to go this way. Mm hmm. Yay. I'm paying attention to the paper because the lettering goes this way, right? And this embellishment has to go like this. So I took it into consideration, which is great. And hopefully I can get to it from there. Okay. Sometimes I forget <laughs> that you'll get paper that a different way. So this is for I'm going to cut it. And I'm real bad at measuring. I can measure here, but don't tell me if it's an A, three, fours, whatever. <laughs> yes, I know. It happens to all of us, like you say. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. Somewhere on that boat. I pulled them out to this one. Working. I think if I put the doily on the back of it, then let's see.
I'm not the little one. I cherish doing things with them in my area. I can't find it. And I was telling my 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 buddies yesterday online here that. Hmm. that a friend they didn't know what friend it was but that you cut me those um doilies from anna griffin with your dye and that i really want the dye but i can't bring myself to buy it because it's expensive for my budget <laughs> so melinda was telling me that there is there are some you think I should put the dolly behind there to display it? I think it's too much brown. Brown and brown. Even this one. I want to pop it up for you. I can layer, let's see. I need a lot of index cards. Yes, but um, yes, uh, Edna's um, die from Mana Griffin. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! I think I'm gonna make her white. Yeah, I have to, so I can pop it off the background. I have to, it's just a necessity. I think this was a necessity. Uh, I don't know who, it's the, it's a square, like a rectangle one, and you told me it was a Anna Griffin one. And when you um, send me packages, you always put them. No, it's not that I ignore you. I have a terrible, terrible lag on my, on both of them. So sometimes it's better and I see the comments and sometimes I don't see it. Okay, Edna, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she has beautiful, beautiful dogs. I use a lot of index cards, guys, because they're, um, like, if I'm going to use cards, if I'm going to do a card and I need to mat something real quick, the white one um, comes out really fast because you just got to trim it. <laughs> and I use it a lot for background. And I also use these a lot. The glue dots, because I can put them on there, and if people want to, they take them off and reuse the paper. Hey, why are you not so dry? Okay, why are you dry and you're not sticky? 
Let it close. Oh my God. Put the glue dots on the back so it doesn't move around. And I popped the white, like a mat on the back so I could stand out. I think it'll look better than putting it on the ground. So now I have to pay attention and see it's this way, so I have to put it the other way. Oh, do I forget? Oops, sorry, I hit the I hit the camera. Thank you. I'm trying to label everything that I create. It says that it's creative and I should have put it everywhere. No, it's gonna take away from you guys. And I use a glue dot so that the person can peel them off, like my label as well. So in case they want to use a the paper, they can. Today, I took out a tool that I had neglected for a long time. You all know what this is? <laughs> An ATD gun. Do you all use yours or do you have one? I had not pulled mine out. It was like in a box that I had not used in forever.
we're gonna work. I usually do. So I use my ATC, ATG gun to put that ruffle lace on there. It's like a different shade of blue, but it matches really well. So when, oops, wrong scissors. When my partner gets this, she can peel off this lace and use it. It makes a world of difference when you can use stuff. I mean, decorations are great, don't get me wrong, right? But you're going to keep them for so long. And I hate to throw things in the trash that are so gorgeous. So I try to make it where they can use it. You're white. I'm humming again. <laughs> I'm used to um, crafting with Christian music on, so when I'm crafting, if I don't have something on, I will start humming. <laughs> so you might get a concert. <laughs> What time is it where you're at, Edna? Here's where I'm at, it is 9.34. Oh, 
we do? I thought you were later. <laughs> yes, I do that all the time. And I I re I guess I didn't realize I did it. Um until I started making videos because when I would replay them sometimes because I don't replay all my videos, I just kinda make them and upload them, to be quite honest. Um, I noticed that I was hungry. <laughs> I was like, why do I do that? Well, it's because I'm used to. Crafting the music. Do you all crack with music on? Or no? Big background noise. You know, if, now that you say that, I always have music going. Like, I like instrumental music. I mean, I usually have instrumental music. That's what I like about coming on here. I mean, somebody said the other day, oh, what a commitment, you know, to come on live. And I'm like, well, I finally realized I'm still crafting when I'm live or not. In the afternoon, during the day when I can, you know, I rest during the day or whatever. I make it work for me. So I'm always, you know, I would be crafting even if um, I'm not on live. So that's why I'm saying, like, I realized that, that I was still, I'm still doing the work. I just got to turn on the camera. Being on live, it's like if I have you guys here, so we're chattering, you know? And then uh, if you're, Melinda's going to be, let me rewind. I come on live on Saturdays, and I alternate with one of my friends called Susie, and 
her YouTube channel is Susie's Craft. And what we do is we alternate every other Saturday. I'll host it and she'll be my guest. And then she hosts and I'll be her guest. And what we do is the same thing. I will work on whatever I'm working on um, currently, right? And she's in the screen is split. So we're both on here. I'm crafting. I can hear her. She can hear me. And we're chit chatting. And then the other people, um, you know, are like you guys viewing and commenting. So this past Saturday, um, we opened it up to whoever wanted to be guests. So Melinda, the one you see on here tonight, will be one of our guests on Saturday. We're going to have two guests. It would be it would be Susie, uh, Melinda, another um, gal from YouTube called, her name is Jacqueline, and then myself. So four of us are going to be on talking and chatting. I mean, crafting and chatting while whoever is viewing us and can be typing at home. So if you're ever interested in crafting and chatting like I'm doing, um, you would have to get on here and I would walk you through the process and you could be live with me and we could be talking and I could see what you're doing on your, you know, like looking at the screen and we can do it. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, Miss Edna, we can do live like that. <clears throat> yes, you did. You got talked into it. Yes, you are totally correct. <laughs> It's so much fun. You think it's fun now, Melinda? It's going to be more fun because you don't have to type. You're going to hear me. You know, just like you've seen me and Susie do it. No. Ready? Ooh, good. Well, you tell me what day you want to come live, Miss Edna, and we can do it. You want to join us on a Saturday? On Saturday, we're having a pajama night where we're going to be in our pajamas crafting. And um, we're going to, you know, the same thing I'm doing. So it's going to be four of us on the screen. So you let me know if you're, when you're ready, and we'll do it. Saturdays at what time? The same time, 8 p.m. Central. And those are long lives. <laughs> the first time that I came on live, um, Miss Edna, I came on live because somebody told us about the app. It's called StreamYard. And you don't have to have 1,000 subscribers to get on live on YouTube. You do it through their app. And it's free for up to 20 hours, but I suppressed it. So I put on my channel, live test. Hey, how are you, Enchanted Dreams? Let's see if I remember your name. No, I have a cheat sheet. I wrote down people's names so that I'm trying to remember and learn everybody's name. Oh no, I don't have your name. <laughs> yes. So the first time that it was a live test and I kept coming off because I didn't know how to work it and Susie was doing the same thing. Uh, we stayed on. I'm not joking. The first time it was an hour, then I got kicked off. Then I came back on and it was seven hours. Lori. Hello, Lori. Let me write that down. I'm trying to remember people's names. Lori. Until I learn them, then I'm good. That's one of the reasons I named my channel Thelma's Creations and more. Because then everybody says, hi, Thelma, right? Because it's there. Oh, yay, Edna. You'll see. It's like Melinda say, we laugh, we cry. We're crying because we're laughing so much. And sometimes we just cry because of what we share. But it's been so much fun. The ladies are awesome. I so enjoy it. 
sorry, there was a little moth or whatever insect that was attracted to my new lamp. Yes, we have um, one lady that chimes in from Singapore. I'm surprised she's not on here tonight. She's usually on with us um, all the time. She's always on my channel when I come on live. Um, and then we had another one. Oh my gosh. Try to remember. Do you remember where Debbie's from? Scotland? I think it's Scotland. <laughs> I'm good. How are you, Lori? Yeah, it's really, really fun. I think you'll love it. And we share and we pray and we laugh and you know it's fun it's a fun time oh my goodness you just got home from work what do you do for a living enchanted dreams it doesn't matter you're going to be tired no matter what you do but i'm just you know my inquiring mind wants to know <laughs> Aha, so you're crafting, or you're going to craft. What are you going to craft? Ladies, I don't know if you've seen this trim. I got this trim. Yes, and we challenge each other, that's true. If you've seen this trim, I hope that the camera does it justice. But it is like eye, long eyelash trim on double-sided, and it's wired. It's wired, so you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Like I, if I want to do a ruffle here, but I don't. <laughs> I want it straight. Um, in the wedding section in Hobby Lobby, and of course, I waited until it was. Oh, it has a wire. I have, if you haven't noticed, many types of scissors, and I only use them for specific reasons. Paper, very dainty lace, fabric everything <laughs> yes tags tags and more tags you're right <laughs> see and it's because actually i think it, since day one um i've been working on tags today i broke the mold enchanted dreams today i did fabric clusters because I need to, I needed to do them for a swap. Yeah, it's very nice, Edna, and I love that it has a wire in it because you know you can do more stuff with it. Um, I love because it's a versatile. Like if I wanted to, I could just cut off, you know, right in the middle and have two pieces of eyelash trim. Um, and all this came in the roll, and of course I got it half off. I think it was five ninety nine. I know. Thank you. Yes, I think I shocked you all today with my... See, I can do things other than journals, guys, and tags. And I'm always making tags. If you ask me what I'm doing, I'll probably say tags all the time. Because, like I told you guys, tags I use all the time in journal making or swaps. It's something I can stick in an envelope and send to somebody. You know, like my pin towel. It's very simple decoration on top, but I like to put something like that because it looks put together. But like I said, the partner can just um, peel it off and use it. My swap partner. Now, this one did not work with the ATC gun. So I'm going to put that right back on. Okay, but Melinda, now I know what that means. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so glad you're going to join us on Saturday. You'll love it, Edna. Trust me, Susie is a hoot. Well, you're getting to know Melinda. Jacqueline's the same way. And, you know, we just have a good time. What are you working on, Miss Lori? Oh, 
and I put creative cookies. I tried calling um, Susie today, but she was busy, of course. You know, we have lives outside of YouTube Live or YouTube. To tell her I was going to be online to see if she wanted to come on, but I caught her at a bad time. Yay, Edna! Invite everybody. The more the merrier. We have lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. It's to the point that, like, Melinda's husband and Dee Dee's husband, <laughs> they already know, like, me and Susie, they're like, oh, you're talking, you're watching them again, because, like, I'm going to try to come on every day during the week and then Saturday. It's because I'm always crafting, so, well, yeah, I try to craft instead of watching TV to be a little bit more productive. Notice I said try, okay? <laughs> so, like, if um, you're going to be watching it, and, like, if you have some crafting to do, I would suggest, you know, sit at your craft table if you can um, and um, craft along with us, you know? Just be working with whatever and have your phone on the side and you can see and you can hear us and I think it goes by faster it's like if we're in the same room crafting oh man come on I think these are drying out I bought this not too long ago because you know it's on a roller because before I used to buy them um, in the flat packages, but you know, they, they're drying out and then they bunch up and they don't get flat. So I actually think I like them in the package instead of this little rolling thing. Yay, Melinda's back. The party can start, or what do you say, Melinda, when you come in? I'm here, the party can start, or. Let's get this party started. <laughs> okay, Edna, I hear you. You're yelling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You'll love it. These these gals are so much fun. You'll love it. Edna, you used to sell Stampin' Up, right? Does Stampin' Up sell um, glue dots, but in oh, in packaging? I don't think I have it anymore because I ran out and I bought them. No, I don't have any more. Um, I know Dollar Tree sells them, like in sheets, I should say. There you go. The party can start. Melinda always says that. So the stamping up, because I know that you mentioned in the group that several ladies sell stamping up, and I know you used to sell it. My question is, do they sell the glue dots on sheets where you can peel them off, or do they sell this stuff? Because I tried this one, I thought it would be easier, and today I'm having a hard time. And so I would love to go support the ladies that, that sell the stamping up. Oh, no. Okay, that's too tight. Oh.
Edna is an admin in several Facebook groups. She will list them for you. It's where I do some of my swapping. And as a matter of fact, we played, uh, what was it? Books of the Bible bingo yesterday. Okay, Lori, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. We will be on on Saturday and tomorrow again at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. All the time. Okay. She admins um, everything and anything Christian. What is it? Swapson? No. It's because I have, I'm on so many of them and they kind of sound the same. Um, I'm on a lot of Facebook groups there. Anything and everything Christian swap group. And then she also does the Bible journal one, right? Yeah, there you go. Come on over. They're fun groups to be in. We're getting ready to do Secret Santa in one of them. I'm excited about Are you in any of the journaling one, um, Melinda? Like uh, junk journal junkies. Oh man, there's so many. Um, there's so many. <laughs> so I have two. A little. Okay, that has to be this. Yes, I won on the books of the Bible. Bingo, when was it, Wednesday? No, Tuesday? I forget what day it was. Tuesday, I think. I won. Yay. And now hopefully we'll win next time. Are you the only one that hasn't won it now, I think? Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm on Facebook with uh, different groups. I really enjoy Facebook on the groups. Anything and everything has been a real blessing to me. <laughs> so I'm the tag queen and the books of the Bible um, reigning queen. <laughs> yes, it has. I lo I love that group. It 
one day I'll share uh, how much of a blessing it's been to me. Like, what I mean when I say that. Uh, you can get membership up by um, talking about it in your videos, Melinda. It's like um, one of my friends told me, how do people know that you have a YouTube channel, Facebook group, Instagram, that you do journals, whatever it is, you know, if we don't say it. Or like, um, if you never knew that I sell journals, you'll never ask me, you'll never know if I don't tell you. So yeah, you have to really talk about it. And um, when your group or um, when a member of your group is touched or I don't know how to say, it, I guess touched by your group or um, affected by it, blessed by it, that member will go and tell other people. It's like, all right now I'm gonna eat a Snickers, right? And if I really like the Snickers, I'm gonna say, hey guys, the other day I bought a Snickers and I just loved it because I fell in love with it. And so if that group is open and it's blessing people, if it's impacting people, if it's teaching them, um, it, it will self-promote. Well, also you have to engage them. Like for example, if I sit here and I'm quiet, right? <laughs> I don't mind jokes. <laughs> if, I, if I sit here and I am quiet, right? You all could be watching me, but we're not going to have dialogue. It's the same thing in a Facebook group. They can't hear you. Here, I have the mic on, right? But in a Facebook group, you you have to type in there. You have to post because if not, they won't hear you. And so, like, yours is journaling with grief, I think, or junk journaling through grief. So, at least, forgive me if, I, if I'm wrong, but it sounds like, you know, you're using it as, like, for me, I say, my crafting, crafting is my therapy. It helps me stay grounded. It helps me deal with my pain levels. It helps me deal with my stress. <laughs> so, um. You know, I would I would say put on there. Um, how did you deal with your grief today? You know, um, why do you journal? Because it's junk journaling, right? How did how has it helped you through your grief? Post post um, a picture of your loved one that you're grieving. I know it now. I'm a chatterbox too. Can you tell out, you know, even when I'm eating, you know, my mouth is open. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, mm, we have to have a conversation. In, in order to have a conversation, you have to be talking. The way you talk through Facebook is by typing, right? And so, yeah. Or you know what? I would share. Oh, you did on your YouTube channel? Why don't you share it on your Facebook group? That would be an excellent video to share on your Facebook group. You know, and I think that that's why... Melinda, that our lives, like, in this, in the lives with Susie, and even in this life, that they've been successful, and people keep coming back, 
is because we connect in levels like that. You know, like Susie shared about, you know, her son. Um, well, you know, she shared that he passed away. You have shared some, you know, de not details, but just the fact that you shared that you've lost your two daughters. And so that's something that, that you and her have in common, you know, um, but we're here to support each other, you know, um, we all, like I've said, I may not know that pain or that I've never been in that situation, losing a child, right? But um, I, all, I often say that does not exclude me from feeling your pain. And I'll tell you why I say that. Because just like perhaps you cry or perhaps you have anger in regards to that, I may cry or I do cry and I do have anger on whatever's happening in my life, which is not grief related. So the situation is different, but the feelings are the same. And I think that when we connect with people, you know, we, that's why we say, oh, we click together or that, you know, that's why you're running at that time to get in the live, to get in the Facebook group, to get in the bingo, to to get in the swaps, to um, send a birthday package, to send a card, because we're, it, it's like we're looking for each other, you know, like, hey, Melinda, how are you? Hey, Thelma, how are you? You know, hey, I know what's up, you know, how are you? How you been doing today? You know, how's your therapy or how Thelma, how's your pain or whatever it is? So, yeah. Oh, Melinda, I can, I, I can, I don't know if I can imagine talking about it I don't know I'll be honest with you <laughs> and so yeah just you know open up and you'll you'll see that group grow at least that's my opinion I don't And I'm so glad that you did that video, Melinda. I, I mean, like I said, I can only imagine how heart wrenching that was. Or I, I don't even, I can't put it into words. But what I can tell you is that you're gonna touch so many people, even if they never write you a comment, even if you never know from their mouths or them typing out. You never know how many people you will impact or you have impacted with that video already. It doesn't matter if you don't have views. It doesn't matter because um, it's out there, you know, and there is a grieving mom out there that needs to know that she's not the only one, you know. She needs to know it's like uh, the first time I came on live and I started talking about my migraines, um, that my migraines are not typical. And I started talking about my symptoms and then um, creation, uh, connections of interest or something like that came on and said something and somebody else. And, you know, we were all talking about, we started talking about our medical issues. We don't have the same diagnosis, but yet a lot of us deal with vertical and the, la the lack of balance and not being able to work and that we use crafting as an outlet, you know? And so that's how we help each other. Yes, Edna, to encourage and support each other. Yes, yes, uh, yes, Edna, that's what it's all about. I know, Melinda, that's why you were agreed to it. And and it's going to, I believe that when we share our experiences, we're healing ourselves and we're healing others at the same time. Because we and they realize that they're not the only ones. You know, that we all struggle. That, oh, she knows what it is. 
you know, not to be able to get up or bump into something, you know, or she knows what it is, what I feel like when I'm dizzy, or she knows what it is when I wish I could work and I can't. So, yeah, you know, she knows what it is to be on a fixed income. She knows what it is um, to be angry and does, don't know what to do with it, you know. She knows what it is, you know, to sit and craft and cry up a storm because I'm having a bad day. So, yeah, it helps. And we're so lucky to live on a time that we have the platform like of YouTube, YouTube Live videos, Facebook, because imagine if we didn't have that outlet. How would I have found you, Melinda? How would I have found Edna? How would you have known about me? Probably never. But we're lucky enough and we're blessed. Well, we're blessed enough to have the outlet, to have the technology. So I'm very proud of you. Very, very proud of you, Melinda. I'm very proud of you and I send you a virtual hug because I know it was, it was very hard. I, I can only imagine, I know. I know it was hard for you. And I will watch your video and all that. Especially, yes. Yes, Edna. Like, you know, so, I mean, I don't know about you and I can't, I can't speak for you, but I know that when I have those symptoms, it's overwhelming sometimes because I look around me and I'm like, Ugh, nobody understands. But when I hear, you know, the stuff that you've shared, Edna, about, you know, two different diagnoses, but you're like, yeah, you know, I lose my balance or I have to go to therapy for this or whatever. I know what that is, you know, I know what it is to struggle to get out of bed, to go down the hall to the bathroom. I mean, I know, you know. So that's part of the connection. And I have always said it, to me, they are divine appointments. They're divine appointments. Why? Because I, I need Edna and I need you, Melinda. Because there's something you have that for a reason God put you in my life. Believe it or not, Melinda. Yes, I do. I need you in my life. Because I look at, well, I don't look because it's a figure of speech. I look at you or I, you know, I ponder on, on your situation. And I think, man, if she can muster the strength to get up and keep going, so can I. Because I'll be honest, I don't, I don't know if I would have been so strong to keep going after losing not one daughter, but two. And it takes, I'll say it like this because this is how I am. Hey, Karen, there's Karen all the way from Singapore. Well, I don't think it's... I don't think it's weird, Melinda. Like I said, they're divine appointments. Um, there's a reason why we were put together. There's a reason. And that's to support and encourage each other. And, you know, we go forward. We were wondering where you were, Karen. And so, yeah. And I think that's what life is all about. Knowing that we're not alone. That others share perhaps the same journey or the same things that, we, that we're going through. Or perhaps, you know, even worse situation than us that makes us realize like, oh, you know what, I can do this. 
If she can do it, I can too. Oh, that's right. The boss is here. Yes, and now we, uh, you'll get to know Karen. Karen is the, the, <laughs> Karen is, um, the lady that I was telling you that comes from Singapore or comes in from Singapore. And, um, you'll get to know her and her story. Um, but she says, I'm quiet and this and that. Like, I think it was the first day because, like I said, we stayed on like almost eight hours. Um, and I said, Well, you are, but believe me, Susan, which you'll meet on Saturday, and myself, um, we're gonna get you talking, we're gonna get you out of that corner that you're in, and whatever you know, you'll get to know her story. So, um, a couple of lives later, or I think the next live, which was the next Saturday, I mean, Karen just spoke up and has been speaking and so you know there's a lot of us commenting and whatever so she she kind of got in in the middle we were not fighting or arguing but hey this or whatever right so we call her our moderator and so she went from a moderator and then somebody said that she was the boss somebody said hey you're just the moderator she says no I'm the boss you all have to listen to me or something like that so that's why we say she's the boss <laughs> Ed, my friend Edna is on here with us tonight, Karen, so I'm kind of trying to fill her in. <laughs> but you'll get to know us, all of us, Edna. At home on bed, how's your back today and how's your pain today, Karen? I know yesterday you had to go because of your back. So how are you doing today? Hey, D, you're back. D is back, everyone. <laughs> Autocorrect. What were you trying to say, Menon? Well, how do you, well, I don't know. How do you think my situation is like, um, I speak Spanish, right? Um, so when I'm typing, sometimes the keyboard will change it to Lord knows what word because it's not what it is. So like I'll text with my mom, let's just say, right? And we're talking in Spanish. I'm talking to her in Spanish. So she'll get a Spanish word, a word that we have no idea what it is because it just puts together things with autocorrect. And it's crazy. I don't think we all, none of us get along with autocorrect. So look, guys, you helped me finish my embellishment swap. I did pretty. And we were chatting all along. So now I have to put these in an envelope, wrap them up in tissue paper, but I have to make a video before that. A bit better and not raining. And you all pray for me. Yes, I prayed for you when you said I got to go because of my pain. I prayed for you right then and there on the live. Thank you, Dee. Oh, thank you, Melinda. Yes. We are so glad you're doing better, Miss Karen.
on for a few stamping out some images. Ooh. What are you going to do, cards? Because you're still working on your cards, right? D. Oh, um, I am going to swap Karen for we're swapping. Hold on, Nate is trying to miss. I miss it. No, for games tomorrow? Oh, how do you play games with with stamps? So I had to make embellishments, Karen. I mean, no, these are not embellishments. These are clusters. So I was on here making the clusters tonight, and I had to package them up. And I put the white, like a little mat. It does look like a card. Um, because I wanted them to pop up from the background, like so they, the clusters could really stick out, you know, be the center of attention. So I have to put these aside and make a video and then package it up and send it to my partner. So how do you play? You guess the number for unscramble crafting. So what are the stamped images for the prizes? Oh, well, guess what you'll be doing in the live then when you come in in the live. And her baby junk journal. What baby junk journal? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that video is hilarious. Karen, you will be making games for us. That would be fun. Hey, do you want to come? Oh, no, you have a, a commitment this Saturday. I just remembered. Never mind. D, I was going to say, you want to come on live with us on Saturday and make some games for our pajama party? But I remembered you have a commitment. No, Saturday. Saturday is a pajama night. Tomorrow you have the commitment with your friend, the the cocktail cards or cards with cocktails or whatever. But you said you were going to go visit your friend on Saturday. This Saturday. At least that's what I understood. I must have understood wrong. No, she has a commitment tomorrow, Melinda. <laughs> yeah, I've told you guys, or, you know, guys meaning you guys, um, that whoever wants to join me as a guest, you know, you can, um, sure, can come on here with me. You just let me know and I'll walk you through the process in bringing you in as my guest. Like, I have to show you where to go, what to do, blah, 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 but we can do it. Yes, during the day, I'll be home. Oh, you have your commitment during the day? I thought you had the cards, the cocktail cards in the afternoon through Zoom or whatever. I don't know. If if you're um, willing and wanting to be a guest with me on any of my lives, whether it be this one or Saturday Night Live, let me know. Uh, anybody. It's, it's open to anybody. Um, so I can make arrangements to get you in the life. We can sure do that. Uh, the Saturday Night Lives, I need to consult with Susie because she also, you know, has uh, people that she talks to or whatever. And, you know, it's a virtual class, Saturday day. Oh, okay. 
Hey, it worked, Edna. I, I see you put, I couldn't send my messages. <laughs> yes, Karen is a boss. Karen, Ms. Edna is saying hi to you. And she has acknowledged you as the boss. <laughs> so then are you wanting or willing to come on live with us on Saturday, D? Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because if that's the case, I need to let Miss Susie know. Because I don't know if she has any more surprise guests coming on. or Because there's... um. It's a limited amount of people that we can put in there also. I just need to verify that there is an opening for this Saturday. But I need to speak to uh, Miss Susie about that. D is the one that draws, Edna. The one I was telling you about earlier. The one that was with her husband. Everybody's like, she's with her husband. I was telling her about your drawing. D. Well, she calls them doodles, but they're actually like, she's like an artist. She draws amazing. You are so fun, Melinda. We're going to be wearing pajamas, but I don't think we're going to be showing our pajamas. <laughs> we can just go like this, like this is my pajama. <laughs> to draw. Like, you're an awesome artist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that today. The pajama the the pajamas that I have is like when it is like really cold here. And really cold here means just like maybe tops like five days out of the whole entire quote unquote winter here. Not even five. Last year I think it was like two. So I will not be wearing those on Saturday because they're too hot. Okay, Melinda, thanks for stopping by. Oh, that would be awesome, Karen, if, if Dee would um, draw for us on Saturday. Oh, it's super cold over there, no? Yes, I'm sure I'll need some and more. Yeah, no. Singapore is hot. Yeah. <laughs> and you're always 
<laughs> wrapped up like a burrito. Yeah, I get cold there. <laughs> Too funny. Yes. Yes, I like that one. If not, I can join it. Ooh, yay, B. Yeah, will you let us know? Um, I will speak to, I'll ask or mention it to Susie, I should say, and then um, if there's any room for Saturday, because I know, you know, like I said, there's limited amount of gifts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, most definitely we can. As well, my paper cutter I have placed it on the floor. I have a terrible habit of doing that. Okay, D, that sounds good. Or did I just have a this? Oops. Fabric print. Oh. This one? Oh, wow. Yes, I hear you. Fabric print swatch. I am the uh, one side of the world. No wonder I am appointed as a moderator. <laughs> hmm. What fabric swap watch that I had? <laughs> well, we asked if you wanted to be here. What did I have up here? I'm trying to think of fabric swap. It was a roll. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. This one? I found it. Let me put it on one second. Somebody send it to me, or I bought it in a kit. Okay, D. Thank you. Good night. Have a good rest and a good day tomorrow. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. Some. I think somebody send it to me. Hmm. Somebody sent it to me, or I bought it in um in a kit from from Rosa from Rosa Cala. I don't remember if I bought it in a kit because I bought like a little kit with her where she had, I guess, her odds and ends or whatever. Oh no. Yeah, drink plenty of water. <laughs> Bye, D. Yeah. 
I I don't know if um it was in the package that you sent me from her or you know you know what I mean or if it was one time that I bought a package from her that had um fabric in it and I I like when I buy uh, those packs from her because you get a little a good amount of peace, but it's like you're not stuck with all the fabric. You know, like if you get it. And it's always um, print that I can use. So before I would store my fabric like this and stack it up. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I don't know if it either came from her to me, from you, <laughs> or like I said, if I purchased it from her. But now I rolled it up like that and I put it in these cards. And I put them in shoe boxes or that. Here. The reason I do that is you can see in one glance everything you have versus it being laid flat and you have to take them all out to see them. What was I telling you last night? Like this. I was doing the breast cancer one. And so I took out colors that went with it. And see how, well, this one's my three compartment that I love. Uh, organizer. But I love it because in one glance, I can see everything. Yeah, my friend on YouTube... She hasn't been on YouTube since her husband passed away. But um, my friend Connie sent me some eyelash trim one time in these things. And I found the... Um, actually, I think I scanned the one she sent me. And she sent me the eyelash trim there. And so I said, oh my God, thank you. I mean, it was so neatly packaged and, you know, I could use it right away. And so she shared with me that she share, she stored her things this way. And she keeps hers in a drawer, like a Chester drawer. And I was actually explaining to somebody, showing somebody yesterday, that they take up way, like, not so much this one. This one's a spool of ribbon. But how many times have we done a project or we're doing a project and you run out of ribbon right or lace or trim it's because you cannot see how many how much of the ribbon you have unless you do this and then then you're left with a roll that doesn't uh, you know <laughs> sit right but when you wrap it up like this you're able to see exactly how many you have or if it'll work with the project the width the color and ever since she showed me and shared with me that I've stored them like this. So this is one that I have to roll up. But I store all of them. Like this one's a trim from Hobby Lobby. I just rolled it up. Um, and because I was working on the breast cancer journals, I was using this palette. And usually almost everything I do, I do in soft pastels. So if I'm going to work like, like what I'm going to do right now is cut tags, <laughs> since I'm the tag queen, <laughs> I need to cut some tags to be ready for my next project. Um, it'll work with, with the colors. So this is part of the next kit that I'm going to be working with and check out the colors, right? Beige, white, like the baby blue. Even the mint would work, the pinks. And so I already have them set up right there by my side and I can use them. So what I'm going to do, like this was a misprint. My printer stopped working. Um, I'm going to be, why do I have lines? Hmm, my internet maybe. Um, I'm going to be cutting out tags so that I can use them in my journal because I'm the tag. <laughs>
No, because I use I use a lot of tags in my and everything. And then these are just stencils that I made with black cardstock that I had. Um, that I use to cut out. Oh, I can use that center. That I use to cut out tags that works with everything that I do. Like where my swaps and stuff like that. My journal. I know that the type of pockets, things that I'm going to use in my journals or my swaps, the envelopes, the tag will fit in them. And then this is a different way of using your digital kits or your scrapbooking paper. Like use them for bases, for cards, you know, card bases or tags. So as I am live with you guys, I am prepping, doing things for my next project, my next journal that I will be making. So how was your day or how is your day going? Karen, because I know it's daytime where you're at. I think my internet stuck now. Bit. Karen, because I can't see you all commenting. Unless you all are not commenting, but it seems like I'm frozen on the tablet. Okay, Edna.
Thank you, boss. Because <laughs> I'm used to having music while I work. How is your day going, Miss Karen? Yep, I'm cutting. I'm cutting out Terex, getting ready for my next project, another journal.
What are you doing, Miss Karen? You're awfully quiet today.
Well, I haven't, I haven't seen the video, the one where she explains about her daughters. Is that the one you're talking about, Karen? Because she said she. Um, she posted it. Too. Edna, are you on here? I think I'm ready to call it a night. And I know you said you would be right back. So I'm kind of oh, I'm kind of waiting on you, Edna. See? Yes, I was thinking how to come back. Where she is. Hey, hi. <laughs> you are so funny, Karen. People couldn't believe that I was going to be 45 when I was on the phone. Oh, that's right. You say that you sound like a kid. Yeah, Edna. Um, Karen says she sounds like a little child, but she's 45. Her voice. I don't know. I've never spoken to her. <laughs> yes, I, I was cutting and I keep hitting my hand on the, on the edge of the table. But I'm tired. Today I'm tired. I didn't have a, very much sleep last night. I care it. You're so funny. And I bet you you look very young. You just think you look old.
Oh, you're updating. I have to update my um I have to update my file on the group. But I'll do that tomorrow. Yes, I have to. I have to get some rest, ladies. Thank you so much for coming on the live. I will be on again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And of course, on Saturday, we have the Saturday Night Live pajama party with over at Susie's Craft Room here on YouTube. Over at Susie's Craft Room here on YouTube, where I will be a guest. It's her turn to host this Saturday. So, um, yeah, she will be. We will be having that on Saturday. I know. That's what I say. And I don't fall for your lies, lies, Karen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye, Karen. Well, hopefully you will see you or, you know, talk soon. Bye, Edna. I'm going to go ahead and get off. Thank you for stopping by the live. I hope you had a good time. We usually do. Um, let's see what I will do tomorrow besides tags. <laughs> send you an invite I don't know if I can send an invite but I will research it or I will remind you at least okay ladies have a good night bye